God's peace be with you all. All of us have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. And if not for our faith in the Lord Jesus, we would surely die in our sins. But God, out of love for us, sent Jesus into the world to suffer and die for us, and thus won for us our salvation. Salvation is a free gift of God to us. We cannot earn it, for Jesus has already paid the price for it. The way that we can fully appropriate this salvation in Christ is through repentance. The Greek word for repentance is metanoia, which means literally a change of mind and heart. Thus, repentance is not simply a confession of wrongdoing, but a complete change in direction. It is a turning away from sin and those things not pleasing to God, and a turning to God and a life of obedience to Him. It is moving away from something and moving towards something or someone. Now, repentance is our response to sin. Sin is not just doing what is wrong, but also failing to do what is right. James says in James 4 verse 17, When a man knows the right thing to do and does not do it, he sins. So sin can be a case of commission and omission. Often we only recognize the wrong we do, but not the right we ought to do. This is sin. In fact, the Greek and Hebrew words used in the Bible for sin literally means to miss the mark. The sin is not just the obvious wrong done, but anything that falls short of God's standards. And since God's standards are about perfection, this is why we are all sinners and are in need of continued repentance. Thus, whenever we examine our consciences, we need to see both aspects of sin. And so we would ask ourselves, not only if we spoke harshly against our spouse today, but also if we spoke encouraging and loving words. We should check not only if we cheated in our business dealings, but also if we have glorified God by the way we run our business as His stewards. Not only if we misspent our time in sinful activities, but also if more and more of our time is submitted to God for Him to direct as He wills. Not only if we fail to pray this day, but also if we are moving forward in a relationship with Jesus and turning over more and more of our life to Him. How can we have true and full repentance? This can start to happen as we assess where we are in relation to our Savior, who gave us the precious gift of salvation through repentance. We need to assess our life. Who runs my life? I or the Lord? Who is my master? Myself or Jesus? How do I want to live my life? For self-fulfillment or for service to the King? True repentance should lead to a realization that Jesus gave everything for us. With His giving up His life, there was nothing more to give. We also need to realize that we have been purchased at a price, at the most expensive price of the blood of Jesus. We are no longer our own. We belong to Jesus and are His to do with as He pleases. What then is our response? Do we also give up everything, our very life for Him? Do we start to live a life of full obedience to the Lord? Do we enthrone Jesus in our hearts as well as in our homes? True repentance is moving from darkness to light, from sin to grace, from death to life, from loss to gain. Repentance can never be seen just as avoiding the negative, but much more of moving on in the positive. We need to look not on what we give up, which is just our old self after all, but on what we receive from God. And what we receive is forgiveness, reconciliation, mercy, peace, joy, 
love, empowerment. We give up our old worthless life and receive the new life of the Spirit. What an exchange! And if we truly realize this, then we would be eager to repent. God bless you.